Win. Hey everybody, it's Mike Bell's blog. Brought to you by our buddies at the Paul Ravage as we go inside my mind. As we're hanging out here at Coach Dooley's house, and we're in sort of like the uh, the Hall of Dooley, if you will. I mean, you got everything. You got this big mural behind me with the coach, and obviously Herc Russell and Ugga. And as I'm sitting here talking to Pollock uh, off the air, it seems like, you know what, Georgia's in trouble. There's too many good teams ahead of them. And I don't know if they're going to be able to run the table because there's no way a two-loss team is going to get in like last year with LSU. I got the sinking suspicion it's going to be somebody from the Big 12 playing somebody from the Big 10. Because, you know, to be honest, Joe Paterno, Penn State, we don't think about the Big 10. They look like they're in slow motion, the way the cameras look when we watch those games. Hi, I'm Pam Ward. It's time for Northwestern versus Purdue. Isn't this exciting? It looks like they're in slow motion. But guess what? Penn State is really, really good. And all those knucklehead Northeast writers, they're just going to go oh gaga over Joe Pa to get him back in a championship game on his way out. So Penn State, they run the table. They'll have that big win if they get it against Ohio State. The rest of the schedule, so the bottom line here, I'm coming around the thought then, we're on the thought train, coming to Thoughtville in the station to the conclusion. It could be a Penn State versus a Texas, and Alabama, I mean, or Georgia, anybody in the SEC could be on the outside looking in. That's why we need a playoff. Right? Oklahoma State. Oh, come on, you and that Oklahoma State, please. They're going to get their asses whipped by Texas. Do they play Texas? Yeah, that's right. You're right. You're darn right. Thank you. <laughs> so there you have it, a probably ill-conceived and even more poorly delivered blog thing.